let's talk about how can we represent images uh, using binary in, in computers. With the images, we have the same problem as we had with sounds. For each tiny part of the image, this is a continuous signal, so we have inf an infinite amount of information. So we do the same trick we did for sounds, and we sample the image. We divide the image in squares, because, because in this, this time we have a two-dimensional uh, our, and the, the information is two-dimensional. We divide the image in squares and we get a value for each squares. As you will probably know, this is called a pixel and we store a value for each pixel. But which value do we store here in the pixel? Well, uh, in, in sounds, we only need it to, to store the, the amplitude of the signal. But here we are receiving a, a light wave. A light waves can have different frequencies. Uh, to, to understand what value uh, we store here, we, you need to understand the concepts of the concepts of color space and color model. To understand what a color space is, you need to know that the human eye can perceive all the the wave, all, all the light frequencies. Here you have a representation of the colors that the, that we can perceive. There are some colors here, the infrared colors that we can see. Uh, for example, you can you can see the light exiting from your remote control. Here you have ultraviolet uh, light. We we can't either see see that that length that wavelength. And a, a color space is just a subset of all the colors that we can see. And we will represent, the, the when we are representing an image, an image, we will use only this small subset in the color space. Okay, so for example, uh, I, I can show you here three of the three of the most used uh, color spaces. This is CLAP. This covers uh, all the colors that we can see. This is Adobe RGB. It only covers half of the colors that we can see, and this is sRGB. Only covers 55% of the colors that we can see. Uh, this, uh, using only 35% of the colors that we can see, uh, we can. Uh, this is the, the most used color space in, in non-professional technology. So, for example, if you purchase, uh, purchase a monitor, it probably will be sRGB unless you use it for for professional. Uh, you need it for, for professional tasks. In that case, you will probably use an sRGB that covers more greens, uh, some more blues here, and it will be uh, provide more fidelity to you for for you for for photos of the of a landscape or whatever. And the prices vary a lot. So I'm going to show you two monitors. This is a an, an standard monitor for I don't know for. Uh, working with uh, documents and programming, whatever is this is the price. And here we can see in the, the in the technical description that it covers the sRGB color space. And if we take a look at this monitor, this is more or less it has the the same uh, characteristics, but it's much more expensive. Uh, almost uh, uh, it doubles the price because it is able to represent the Adobe RGB color space. So when we are representing images, we are not representing it. Uh, we are sampling them. We are losing some information here because we are taking pixels of the image. And we are also losing information because we are not representing all the colors, the real colors of the image, but only a subset of them. Depending on the on the color space, we have uh, we have 
choose for the image, we will be able to represent it with more or less fidelity.